Restless leg syndrome. Is this a real condition or just a side effect of some bad habits? Hey there, njroot22.com here with a multifaceted vlog post today. It's both low carb as well as general health and interest. We do not suffer from re restless leg syndrome. It's a re relatively recent condition, but it's definitely possible that at some point in the past we had something that resembled restless leg syndrome. We feel it's sensible to question whether RLS is a bona fide medical diagnosis or just truly a byproduct of something else. And also with the bonus points to benefit from the ignorance of the masses, as they say. Back in the day, we used to be super high carb. I mean, the worst you could possibly be. Like many pizza pies a week, along with other, you know, standard American diet type foods, you know, sandwiches, chips, cookies. It was the worst, honestly. Junk, in other words. And when we laid down to sleep each night, when we were at our worst, you know, most obese part of our lives, our legs would be out of control. I mean, seriously, it had to be mo some of the most uncomfortable moments of our, of our life. I couldn't even sit still when, even when I wasn't trying to sleep, I had the bouncy left leg or right leg. If I ever had to sit in like jury duty, I, I wouldn't be able to sit still. It was just thinking about that feeling makes my legs just remember what it felt like. It was the bouncing knee. And at night I would bang my legs, my ankles. I would literally sometimes hit it so hard. I could probably crack a coconut between my kneecaps. It felt like, you know, like a spider crawling up, but nothing worked. Not, not even a massage, nothing, nothing, nothing worked. Those issues I had for several years, if I had to recall, they're gone. I haven't had them in 10 years. I sleep instantly. Like my, I just fall asleep. I'm, I'm at ease. I'm very peaceful in bed. Now, what I'm wondering, is that a coincidence or is the correlation uh, good enough to uh, suggest that high carbs are the reason people have this restless leg syndrome? And more importantly, did they invent this illness? You know what I mean? Like they gave it a name and it sounded really good knowing full well what actually caused it. Now, to be fair, I wouldn't rule out any particular real reason for this, this really horrible condition. But if I had to put my money on it, I'd say it's one of the three following reasons. Number one, being overweight, excess carbohydrates, and maybe even possibly just wheat or even GMO wheat. Our money is on the blood sugar levels. If you've watched how a child acts when they consume carbs, you know for certain it was the foods they ate. And when you watch them squirm, when you're trying to put them uh, to bed at night, it makes you feel kind of bad actually. They shouldn't be physically uncomfortable at that time of the night. They should be ready to relax. And I know kids are hyperactive and stuff. And that's the reason why we choose carbs as the primary cause, our suspicion of the primary cause of this restless leg syndrome, because it sort of covers the other points too. You know, the being overweight as well as the, the GMO garbage that uh, they're peddling these days. And I can say that in the 10 years I haven't had this restless leg affliction, I can tell you what I feel when I do have a bad day. I don't eat carbs. I mean, especially in the last uh, year or two, I'm really good at staying away from carbs. But if I ever make a mistake or I, I just have a bad day and I, I do make mistakes, I'm human. Anytime I eat anything that raises my blood sugar, even just a little bit, like a gluten-free something or another, I feel it. It's like I get memories, like it comes back. I could feel that it, if I kept eating more of that stuff, that, that, that restless leg tingly thing would, would come back. Uh, I don't feel it normal. Even popcorn does it for me, believe it or not. I mean, it's nowhere near what it was when we, we couldn't sleep because of it. There's some, some connection there. That's what I think. And that's one of the, another reasons why we, we are really good at sticking to our low carb diet. But what if we're wrong? You know, you know the saying, it's like correlation is not causation. I cannot be sure that getting into shape and eliminating carbs is the exact true reason of eradicating restless leg syndrome. But I like to see what other people have to say. And you can bet that in no way would mainstream media want to remove this bogus condition from their list of reasons so they can peddle more pharmaceuticals. Don't do it. Our final point is that if you suffer from restless leg syndrome and any other kind of condition, always try a natural approach to solving them. Taking pharmaceuticals is a very bad option. Not only do they make the, these corrupt 
companies even more powerful and rich. They brainwash over time the people into thinking that there's a pill for everything. But there's not. Good health does not come in pill form. Otherwise, you'd have pills growing from trees, right? If you suffer from restless leg syndrome, I suggest you try something before you start popping pills. Try the carnivore diet for two months or three months and see what happens to your sleep conditions and your, your leg issues in general. I think that's a, a, a giving a, yourself a chance rather than just a, looking for an easy way out. That's it. Does anybody else suffer from this? Have you, have you seen any difference when your health improved? If you liked the video, please hit the bell and the subscribe, and I'll see you next time.